Nexus Mods doesn't want to have its original owner. Etsy doesn't want your 3D printed slop. And AMD doesn't want AM4 to die. They just want to keep going. Let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host, and this is your... Me. I'm me. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Tuesday, June 17th, 2025. We're a little late. Uh, this is going to release uh, later than it's supposed to because we're finally getting fiber installed. Hooray! Oh, that was a mission. The fiber install went great. It was uh, the ISP and everything getting that turned on. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Thanks for taking care of that for me. Yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah. exactly what the owner and founder of Nexus Mods is saying to the person who has bought out the company. The website that's known for giving you all of those uh, Mm, stuff and things. One of the reasons why Stellar Blade's so popular on PC right now has stepped back after 24 years and sold to an undisclosed buyer. But turns out, with a little internet sleuthing, we know who it actually is. So the owner of Nexus Mod saying that they're doing this for like their own personal well-being, a lot of soul searching, things just, uh, it was a lot, very stressful running this site. They've gotten into a lot of controversy over what mods that they will allow or not. And it just like constantly being at the forefront of of political conversations that I don't think that they anticipated they would have to deal with when they first launched the site two and a half decades ago. But the owner is gonna be a company called Chosen. Interesting. They're newly established, don't have a whole lot of details on LinkedIn. The CEO is in Denmark. According to Nexus's mods owner, uh, just the details that they wanted to go over was like, this is a gaming first company. They're actually gonna value the modding community. They're not allegedly going to turn it into venture capitalist crap. We'll see how that all goes, but uh, let me know how this affects you. Uh, I mean, I, I've been using Vortex to like launch The Witcher 3 and like mm -hmm. getting all of the graphical mod updates and all of the like gameplay updates to like truly turn it into something good. When was the last time you used Nexus mods? The other day. My cyberpunk is a mess. <laughs> As all I'll say. <laughs> uh, but you know what else is a mess? Most guys skin. Hmm. but not with today's video sponsor. All right, let me level with you fellas. I know you aren't taking the best care of your skin, but that's okay. It can be hard to know where to start. Today's sponsor, Geology, makes your journey to better skin as easy as possible. The hardest part of skincare can be figuring out what works for you because everyone's skin is unique. With Geology, your journey to new skin starts with a 60 second quiz. All you have to do is fill out a few questions about your skin, what you're looking to improve, and how involved in skincare you are. From there, you'll get a derm grade personalized routine that can be delivered right to your door. With over 41 prestigious awards and 10,000 five-star reviews, Geology has delivered quality skincare to people just like you. By keeping the process and your routine simple, Geology makes it easy to stick to your plan and keep improving your skin. But why stop there? On top of skincare staples, Geology also offers products designed to care for your hair and body as well. Their two-time award-winning co-wash is a great smelling addition to your hair care routine. So put down your breakfast and make a change that your skin has been begging for. With my code, you can score 70% off your personalized skincare trial, plus a free gift of your choosing. There's even 50% off add-ons for your routine. You can check it out all via the QR code on the screen or link in the description below. Thanks to Geology for sponsoring today's video. Well, while uh, some people's skin might be slop, Etsy thinks that 3D printing crap is also slop because they are changing their terms of service to make it so that if you have a 3D printing shop, you're no longer allowed to sell objects that you did not create yourself. So this is a change of their previous terms of service, which indicated that as long as you made the item, you were allowed to sell it. But because of the plethora of slinky dragons and like browsing Etsy has become a mission just to get past all that. Yeah. So unless you designed it yourself, even if you have the license to sell it for commercial purposes, Etsy is no longer going to allow you to do it. However, the problem with that is regardless of whether they say that it applies to laser printers, 3D printers, CNC or Cricut machines, how they're going to enforce it is not quite clear, especially especially because this change in the terms and conditions was not a public pronouncement by Etsy. It was a silent update. So maybe they're not quite ready to enforce things. They are just prepping to uh, get rid of all of those uh, 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 rock the pusses that people are trying to sell. I don't hate the change. They could have done it better. Maybe they didn't think people would go digging into the T's and C's. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, you know what nobody knew was uh, when Sony would let up on the PC side of things because games that don't require a PlayStation Network login, like Helldivers 2, have been banned in countries where PSN is actually banned. It has been a problem, but it turns out Stellar Blade is what we have to thank for <laughs> that restriction getting lifted in over a hundred countries.
countries. So 177 countries that were previously prohibited from playing games like Helldivers 2 or God of War Ragnarok or Spider-Man 2 can now download those on Steam and launch them. It is no longer a problem. And, you know, Stellar Blade selling a million copies on PC. Didn't hurt. Yeah, the devs behind Stellar Blade pushed Sony to make sure that this happened. And that's exactly what we got going on. And Reese, what do we got going on for deals? Stuff. Woohoo! Hey, welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet in a driveway. First up today, we have the Amazon Basics 3 button wired USB mouse available in black and a pack of 30. Whoa! <laughs> a 30 pack you of You and a buddy and a buddy and a buddy need a new mouse, you know, just for office use. You can grab them for $46.99, making it $88.11 off. We should get that for the office here. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. <laughs> But then next up, we have this MSI Mag MT201, which is a heavy duty single monitor arm, which you can grab for only $49.99, making it $50 or 50% off, whichever sounds better to you. And then lastly, today we have this Lian Lee SUP 0145L. Up. The standard platform case available in white, really cool split section to put your GPU on one side and keep it cool on the other. You can pick this up for $79.99, making it $60 off. And hey, with that, that's the deals. We're gonna have to get used to this. I know, it feels weird to like, like this is gonna be- Physically talking back and forth yeah. to you. This is how it's gonna be. I mean, we're gonna have like a proper microphone and not yeah, be yeah, outside. And, like... Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a bit more established, but uh, <laughs> we're back to it. But you know who's been getting a great deal? Us, WhatsApp users. It's been free for a while, ad-free for a while, and that is changing for the first time since 2009 because WhatsApp used to have ads and it actually used to have a yearly fee. I believe Gross. it was like it was like a dollar you had to pay for the year in order. I feel like I remember that. It was like an activation fee just to make sure you were. A... I still paid for that activation fee back in the day. Not you bringing back memories. Well, that's so when I first came to South Africa, uh, 2014, people used WhatsApp, and I was like people are paying to talk to each other. But th that's because I had used WhatsApp years prior. Yeah. Anyways, ads are rolling out in certain sectors of WhatsApp, only in the Ooh. updates feed. So uh, Meta says that 1.5 billion people use the updates tab daily. I never use it, do you? I do. Okay. Do you like check on people's statuses or? Pretty much, I'll just uh, like browse through and just see. Honestly, it's either that or I open up Instagram because people post the same stuff both places. Okay, well now you're gonna get ads there. Great, love it. <laughs> well. Maybe they'll introduce a monetization option where you can pay for it again. Would you rather do that? No. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's getting my money. All right. Well, nobody is going to be able to buy the ARC A750 anymore because Intel discontinuing that, end of lifing it, that GPU two and a half years. Bye bye. Roughly passed when it came out, dead, but Gone. not without some new hope for Big Battle Mage because just as a small little thing, there's new Mesa drivers for Linux that indicate that uh, the G31 GPU is on its way. Four different variants. Yeah. Probably going to be like a, if I had to guess, this is not an official confirmation, B770, B750, and then pro versions of each of those. That makes sense, yeah. So uh, more just positive statements on uh, Battle Mage, big Battle Mage happening. A couple of people keeping a lookout. Yeah. But you know what's getting even bigger? Intel CPUs, because we, now we got details coming out, hotty does. Because now we have details coming out about the Nova Lake CPUs, which are supposed to be hitting your PC sometime in 2026, if you happen to want to switch over to the Ultra 300 series. And the top of the line, Ultra 9, is expected to have 52 cores. 52. 16 performance cores, 32 efficiency cores, and then four uh, ultra low power cores. What am I gonna do with all those cores? Uh, 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 AI. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultra 7 is supposed to be a little bit more tame coming in at 42 cores. Then the Ultra 5 highest end is gonna have 28 cores. And then the Ultra 3 down below is gonna be a 12 core CPU with four P cores, four E cores, and then a four low power core setup. All of that with 150 watt TDP, doubt okay. it. It's not okay. gonna, it's, no, it's not gonna pull, it's yeah, gonna pull like 7,000 watts, man. It's it gonna burn the CPU right. out. Like we're gonna start getting comments on like the eight pin CPU connectors melting. Goodness, if you're actually powering that. I mean, this is a big departure from how currently Arrow Lake is because currently with the 285K Ultra 9, you have eight performance cores and 16 efficiency cores. So you're doubling that on the performance side. You are also doubling that on the efficiency side and you're also not increasing the TDP all that much. I don't, I don't buy it. But yeah. there's also some other improvements coming with PCI Express lanes, supposed to get 32 Gen hey. 5 lanes, uh, an increase from 20. So that's a pretty large jump as well as the RAM 
support going from DDR5-6400 to a base of DDR5-8000. So that might yield uh, even faster higher end I'm CPU overclock or RAM overclocking. It'll be nice. We'll see how it goes. But are you excited to keep AM4 alive? Always. Okay, well, so is AMD because yet again, they stealth launched another CPU, the Ryzen 5. 5500X3D. Another X3D chip. Another X3D chip. So this thing is basically a cut down version of the 5600X3D, has slightly lower clock speeds coming in at three gigahertz base and four gigahertz boost, which is a drop of about 10% from the 5600X3D, but it has the 3 dv cache, yeah. has the same TDP, kind of basically the same. The only thing is that it's currently going to be a Latin American exclusive, oh. which means in the States, we have the 5600X3D which is a micro center exclusive. So still an exclusive CPU. It appears that the yields on the Ryzen 7s are yeah. just too good for them to have an abundance of this. Or if you sell this, who's going to buy the Ryzen 7s? It's kind of tricky when you can when you can get a Ryzen 5 that gives you roughly the same gaming performance. But still showing that here in uh, middle of 2025, which is the middle of the decade, the middle of the year, and a couple days ago was the middle of the month. We're, we're very close to the middle of everything right now. We're closer to 20. 2050 than we are to 2020. I filmed the Zen Plus video here in Pretoria, and they're yeah. still supporting that socket. Hell yeah. I've been gone for a long while. The better part of a decade I've not lived here, and they're still on AM4. But for all of you AM5 enthusiasts, they are also releasing a non-integrated GPU version of the Ryzen 7 9700, giving you the F variant, which is allegedly gonna make it cheaper, no integrated GPU, and then you just get the same CPU performance for gaming without needing to spend the money on those two uh, compute units that they give you of RDNA. Not missing much, but like... You'll find these popping up in pre-builds. It's yeah, gonna exactly. be the cheapest. Yeah. yeah, but exactly what you said, on Friday's episode of Hot News, let's find out. We got Matt Gaw saying, I want new Battlemage GPU so badly. Me too. Do you? Are you gonna swap out your 5080? Absolutely not, but I want more and more competition in the market. That's fair. I, I got him the 5080 for streaming. It, it was a business move. That thing's cool. Then we got Corey saying, I just love that Intel GPU rumors are back in a positive direction. Prior to Battlemage launching, all the rumors were doom and gloom about how Battlemage would be the larger. Yeah, we know. It's, uh, I agree. I'm excited that uh, the reports that Big Metal Mage were dead are appearing to be not quite accurate. That's Thank what goodness. I want. And then we got Alex Sharkbite talking about the Apple Silicon Steam Beta, saying it launches faster, scrolls smoother. It's a nice upgrade. I still need to try it. Are you going to game on your MacBook Air? No, absolutely not. Well then, okay, yeah, I guess you could try it. That's, have fun. And then GP Turismo saying, what about the US UFD tech guys, Kyle and Steve? <laughs> Steve? And then Joey following up saying, I was wondering the same thing too. He did say something about winding down the US operations on Tuesday's hot news, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. It's two qualifiers right there. If the US team has to be let go, I genuinely hope that the US team has something lined up if that's the case. No, uh, if I'm letting them go, that's gonna come as a surprise to them. Yeah, surprise. No, everything is staying uh, the same in the US. If you took away that I'm winding down the US operations, that uh, was not what I was trying to communicate. I'm winding down. Yeah, he, he's out of the, gonna be out of the picture. That's My like, U.S. operations are winding yeah. down. Kyle, Steve, <laughs> <laughs> Michael, and then uh, the two other newer employees are all getting to keep their jobs. Actually, no, I did say in Hot News last week that Kyler got a promotion. He's like the U.S. manager for Promoting us. Promoting him just to fire him. Yeah, uh, no, we're keep, like, this is uh, very different from our move back to the States in 2019. Uh, we are solid, we are growing, we are uh, moving in a place of strength. The US side is very strong. I've spent a lot of time with Kyler, training him, building him up, and he's gonna rock that, That like making sure everything's good that side. I'm gonna be over on this side, and we're still gonna synergize. Like, we still have people here. The only thing that's actually changing is I am physically relocating. Yeah. That's really all that should theoretically change. I'm sure we're gonna find out that there's more. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. No, everybody gets to keep their job this time, which is nice. That was, 2019 was brutal, man. Oh. Don't remind me. I'm sorry. Well, you got to keep your job the whole time. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It was nice. Indispensable is what he is for now. For now. For now. All right, well, I'm gonna dispense this episode of Hot News. We, we did it again. 
We're back in action. Hell yeah. Uh, don't forget, Friday, we're giving away those PCs. 5090 PC on twitch.tv forward slash UFD tech. Twitch.tv forward slash UFD music has the 9070 XT PC giveaway. We're going to have to figure out how to manage those. While I was wondering about that I, for the most part. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll still do them. We just got to figure out the logistics. When are you going to stream again? It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. We've been setting up here. I'm keen. All right. Well, uh, Keenan and Kel.